Yo, what's up, sports better? So I've given out a lot of bets for today, but I'm pretty excited about No House Advantage. So this is a new platform. It works pretty similar to Prize Picks Underdog Fantasy, where they're not changing your payouts based on you selecting over or under. So basically, there's this payout multiplier. It's a fixed payout platform. I've broken down the math before. I'll include this spreadsheet in the description so you can kind of look through it. But what's optimal on No House Advantage is five pick insured entries. And basically, to be profitable, you need to win over 53.22% of your plays, right? So if you're hitting your picks on No House Advantage in five pick insured entries at a rate of 55%, so in other words, if you can select these player props just like Diaz over under half of a single, so to get a single or to not get a single, if you can select these player props correctly above 53.22% of the time, you're going to be profitable. So if you can hit 55% of your picks, you only lose 45% of your picks, you're going to be up 14%, roughly on no house advantage over the course of the long run, right? It doesn't mean every day you're going to make a ton of money on no house advantage. I'm just saying over the course of thousands of bets, if you're hitting your picks at a rate of 55%, your ROI is going to be 14%. So this is the only number you got to beat, right? All you have to do to beat no house advantage is win your player prop bets over 53.22% of the time. So how do we do that? Well, we look at sports books, right? And I'll give you an example of one of my favorite plays that I went with for tonight. And it's Victor Robles. So you can see right here, over half of a base. So we're betting on him to get a base. And I found this play on the Odds Jam Positive EV, Positive Expected Value Tool. So what you're going to see right here is Robles, over half of the base, is heavily favored on all the sports books. DraftKings has him at minus 140 to get on base. So over half of the base is heavily favored around minus 140. All the other sports books also have him as roughly a minus 144 favorite to get on base. So to record one plus base. So all you want to do when you're betting on no house advantage is just use the positive EV tool and you try to find five picks, right? We want a five pick insured entry. So all we're doing is we're looking for spots where sports books have an over or an under really heavily favored. So Robley's over half of the base is the first pick that I went with. Then Braden Point, over two and a half shots on goal. Look at this. All the sports books have his over two and a half shots on goal, heavily favored. Follow the data. All the books are telling you he's a lot more likely to go over as opposed to under. So this is a play we're winning over 53.22% of the time, and it's going to be profitable in your five pick entry with insurance. Braden Point, over two and a half shots on goal. Keep going. You're going to see some lower profit margin plays. So here we have Vasilevsky under 30 and a half saves. All the books have is under, heavily favored, DraftKings minus 140. That's a great play to go with. So my entry, all my picks are just from this positive EV tool um, or from the fantasy screen. So again, this is a new tool on Odds Jam. You just want to hit these bets in green. So there's a lot of overlap with the positive EV tool. So you're going to see Robley's over half of a base. All the sports books have his over, heavily favored. That's a sharp bet to go with on no house advantage, right? All the books have him around minus 145 to get on base. So this is a great bet to include. It's winning 55.46%. According to the odds sports books are putting out, all the books have his over heavily favored. So we're beating that 53.227% number. So all these picks in green on no house advantage are going to be profitable bets. And again, this tool right here, if you like this layout, is just the fantasy screen, screen fantasy screen, all the picks in green you want to go with. So what did I go with? I went with Robley's. Over half of a base, Braden Point over two and a half shots on goal, Tavares over half of a base, Vasilevsky under 30 and a half saves, Bogdanovich under 11 and a half points. That's my first play. And then you can see same four picks. I just threw in Marcus Smart under 12 and a half points. So you can see this just from the fantasy screen. All these are on the fantasy screen. Jonah Heem over half of a base included that as well. Heem over half of a base, Tavares over half of a base. So a few different plays, you know, you can kind of screenshot these if you want to take a look more closely, but a bunch of value on no house advantage. Let's make some money.